good afternoon students now next is uh, different web services of internet so different web services are these different products of uh, internet so these are called web services so in internet when uh, you are connected with the internet you can use chatting you can use email video conferencing then there is a e learning that is also a part of web, web services then there is e banking there is e shopping e reservation e governance e groups and social networking so these are the different uh, services of uh, internet we have already discussed chatting it is a textual conversation between a two or more person jab aap text ke format mein conversation karte ho it is called chatting but present time chatting is available uh, through video as well as audio email any electronic message sent from one email user to another email user video conferencing when you are doing conferencing with the help of video or video conferencing now there are some more terms which we are going to discuss here now first one is here e shopping we started this uh, in its last lecture e shopping so e shopping means it is a process of shopping done over internet clear so when we are using internet for buying the products it is called e shopping so e shopping means it is a process of shopping or buying done over internet now there are different advantages and disadvantages of uh, e shopping but before that i will discuss the different websites that are very popular for e shopping are number 1 flipkart dot com then snapdeal dot com next is india time times dot com then on dot com mantra people dot com capricorn.com yap.com
So these are the different uh, websites that provide that that are providing the e shopping facility. Big list. Now, next is when you are uh, doing online shopping, you make the payments. There are different modes of uh, payment. Okay. So, when you do e-shopping, there are different modes of payment. Number one is cash on delivery. Cash on delivery means when uh, you will make the payment at the time of delivery of goods okay shopping cash on delivery means when you will receive the product then you will make the payment next is you can make the payment by using online banking okay third one is by using debit or a credit card so you can make the payment by using different methods methods for payment okay so jab bhi aapne e shopping karni hai to aap apke payment karne ke aapke paas different methods hain Cash on delivery, hai, online banking, hai, debit or credit card payment. Hai. So you can use that for making the payment. But remember one thing for online shopping, there are different chances for fraud. Okay. So there are different chances of fraud, means the fake website is there, or you make the payment and you are not getting the delivery of goods. Uh, or the products are not as per the specification okay so these are the different type of costs we can face at the time of uh, online shopping yeah e-shopping so next is there are some advantages of e-shopping the advantages are First of all, your uh, availability of 24 into 7. So this type of shopping you can do anytime. Okay. So it is available 27 in, uh, 24 in 24 means 24 hours and 7 days in a week. Okay. Next is equal. Accessibility of product. So different products are there. You can compare the products and uh, you can compare its quality as well as its price. And after that, you can buy that product. So equal accessibility. So you can see the product ko equally assess ka sakte ho. But then it means varieties are there, lot of choices are there, but some there are some disadvantages. These are it is very difficult to uh, because if things are not physically there, they are virtual there with their pick, you can find out uh, the, its appearance. So that is a big problem in e-shopping. Reason is no physical okay. So things are not physically there. Second one. Fraud. 
So uh, e-shopping involves the payment. So the, uh, there may be chances of uh, fraud is there, non-availability of uh, company or uh, website. Okay, second one is you make the payment and you are not getting the data, uh, getting the product. These are the different type of uh, frauds you can enter, uh, you can face with that. So next is Third one, uh, companies are selling the product which are not available with them, okay? There is a outsourcing. Clear? So outsourcing means getting the data product from other, uh, other person, okay? This is called outsourcing. So it naturally, the margin, there will be profit margin will, will be with the company, okay? Or to give you outsourcing that is there. So yeah, this is this is called e-shopping. Now next is next term is e reservation. So I am going to discuss next important term that is called e reservation. So in the case of e-reservation, its meaning is making reservation of tickets. Or hotel rooms. Through internet. So, whenever uh, you are uh, making, uh, you are making reservation of tickets or hotel rooms through internet, this is called e reservation. Okay. So reservation may be of uh, any type of uh, rooms or maybe of uh, tickets. So these tickets may be of uh, movie ticket or your uh, railway tickets or bus ticket or uh, air tickets. So these are the different uh, type of uh, tickets reservation. Now next is benefits. Benefits of e reservation. Benefits of e reservation. So, number one, safety. So, uh, whenever you are, uh, so, uh, one minute better. Benefits of e reservation. First one is easy, means uh, you can easily assess the uh, availability and then you can make the reservation. Second one, available anywhere. Anywhere means 24 into 7. It is available. Next one is fast. So there is a fast processing is here. If you want to uh, buy any ticket, you can uh, log in in the ID and uh, you make a reservation. So these are the different benefits of uh, e reservation. Now application area of uh, areas of E reservation. First, <laughs> travel tickets. So, if there may be any travel package packages are there, so you can 
buy these uh, travel packages by using e reservation then hotel rooms if you want to book any hotel room you can do with the help of e reservation then sports matches so there are sports matches are there if you want to buy a purchase a ticket you can do by using e reservation movie and theater so theater movie movie tickets or theater tickets you can buy it events all other events okay so like uh, any type of event you can uh, make the reservation by using e reservation so process kya hota beta e reservation ka so you will have to log in in the website of a concern company clear in uh, its website then select different options and last make payment so this payment may be online by using the uh, your uh, net banking or payment through debit or a credit card so next is next important term we are going to discuss here is e banking so e banking means using banking activities or yeah, operations with the help of internet this is called e banking okay so meaning of e banking is availing the banking services to electronic means via internet so whenever you are doing any type of you are availing any type of banking service with the help of internet it is called e banking and remember one thing e banking is of different type it may be pc banking internet banking mobile banking so um, here internet banking is also called online banking clear so these are the three terms different type of uh, e banking number one is pc banking internet banking and uh, mobile banking in the case of pc banking here you are directly connected with the bank okay so these are for big companies so uh, the computer of uh, that company is uh, directly linked with the computer uh, using the bank uh, bank and there are direct transaction between bank and the company this is called pc banking clear So online banking that enable customer to execute bank transaction uh, from a PC via a modem. In a but this is not a famous now. Clear. Second type of uh, banking is called internet banking. It is also called uh, online banking. In this, you are connected with the uh, 
uh, with bank, uh, with the help of internet, you have a user ID and password. By using user ID and password, you are logging in your ID, and then you can make the transactions. The last type of bank banking is mobile banking. In this, you are using the mobile phone for making the banking activities. So again, mobile banking is an internet-based service that allow one to use the banking service safely and uh, with the proper mobile phone. So, so there are some uh, apps like uh, uh, SP Uno app. If you have with the help of that, you can make the transaction. So different websites are uh, different banks are providing e-banking facility like SBI. PNB. Here, so uh, these websites uh, have uh, these banks having a special URL for online facility. Like, uh, for example, in the case of SBI, it is www.onlinesbi.com. So, remember the URL of SBI online online for online banking online sba.com Uh, I'm giving one example of uh, SBI. Online SBI.com. But whenever you are using any banking website, be, uh, check the URL HTTPS and there is a lock symbol. Okay? So if you have a protocol, it will be protocol hoga HTTPS. Okay, and there will be one lock symbol. It indicates there is a digital certificate. Okay, this is for online SBI. The URL is online SBI.com. For example, in the case of PNB, it is PNB banking, uh, P, uh, PNB banking dot in. This is the URL of uh, SBI. So remember the names of uh, each website set up for SBI and uh, PNB. Other banks also having the same feature, for example, HDFC or uh, Yuko Bank is there. Clear? So different banks like uh, HDFC. online banking so here is hdfc.com so remember the names of these websites because in the exam there will be some questions like uh, write down the uh, url of url of uh, two e banking websites So remember the these URLs. Now next is the different advantages of uh, e-banking. First is available 24, 24 into 7. So it is available 
24 hours and 7 days. Second one, it saves your time and money for, go, uh, for going to the bank branch and make the transaction. Economical. Clear? So it saves your time and cost. Saving your time and the cost. Next is complete detail is available. It means anytime you can get the statement. So it will show the amounts come in your bank account and uh, the all the transactions you are you have made. Next is, there are some drawbacks, some disadvantages. So first disadvantage is, frauds. Okay, there are cyber frauds or online frauds, means uh, you are making the payment to uh, a wrong person with their for phishing or something else. Second one. Charges. So it is not a free of cost. Bank is, bank is charging the money for this. Okay. We have to pass which uh, to pass disadvantages are online uh, banking. Now next is Next term I am going to discuss here that is e learning. E learning means learning with the help of internet. It is called e learning. So I am going to discuss what is the meaning of uh, e learning. So whenever you are make, uh, using, you are learn something with the help of internet. This concept is called e-learning. So here is e-learning. So you learning with the help of internet is called e-learning so there are different websites that provide facility a feature for your e-learning there are some softwares are also there so now here is e-learning software number one i am giving you some names Moodle is here. So these are some softwares. These are the some names. Okay, students. Uh, tomorrow I will discuss. There are some important topics like e governance, e group, and social network. So there is still some uh, some discussion about e learning. Okay. So now time is over. Now I am going to close the meeting. Take care. Bye bye.